So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is just get you a pan and put it on medium high heat and get some olive oil or vegetable oil, whatever you have, and you're gonna get that in there and you're gonna get it heated up. And then you are going to slice up some onion. I used a purple onion, red onion, whatever you wanna call it. Um, you could use yellow, you could use white. It's just whatever you prefer. And you're gonna get that in the pan and you are going to just cook it until it turns brown. As soon as the onions hit that pan, it smells so good. Yum. So while that is in there getting brown, you are just going to get a bowl and you're gonna put a cup of flour and I put salt and pepper and that is garlic powder. And you're just gonna stir it up and then go back to your onions after they're nice and brown. You are just going to get them and dump them into your crock pot. I think I have my crock pot on low at this point. And then you are going to get your beef tips. And now, if you want, you can rinse your meat. Some people do, some people don't. Um, it's just, I guess it's your preference. Sometimes I do, um, I didn't today. I'm just gonna get it into the flour and you're just gonna dredge it and you wanna coat every piece. And I'm just gonna do it with my hands. That's the quickest way. And then after you do that, you're gonna put it in the same pot that you had your onions in. And you just want to get it all brown and seared, get those juices locked inside. Uh, once you get it all into the pan, just leave it and let it brown. And then um, you can give it a stir once it's browned. But while you're doing that, the bowl that you had the flour in, if you have extra flour left over, leave it in there. You don't have to dump it out. Then you are going to get a 32 ounce beef broth, um, or it would be two, two cans if you don't use a carton like that. So you're just gonna get all of your beef broth in, and then you are going to use one packet of the Lipton onion soup mix. You can pour that in, and then you are going to get some water, half a cup of water, and some soy sauce, about a tablespoon. And if you have Worcestershire sauce, you can put that in there too. Um, the recipe will be linked down below, so no worries. And put that aside and get your meat stirred up. See how it's brown. You don't wanna mess with it too much. Get your meat all browned up and once that's ready, you are going to get it and dump it in your crock pot with the onions. Just like that. And then once you get that in there, you are just going to get your liquid and you're gonna pour it in there with your meat and your onions. And if you want to before you pour your liquid in, you can add in a packet of brown gravy mix. I did, but you don't have to. The recipe doesn't call for it, but I did. And also, if you wanted, you could add a can of cream of mushroom soup if you wanted to, make it creamy, and then give it a stir. You're gonna put the lid on it and let it go. You could cook it on high for six hours. You could put it on low for eight. And there it is all done. Mine was on there for about seven hours. And you could put it over rice, you could put it over potatoes. It's delicious. I put mine over rice and it was so tender. I went to pick the meat up with the fork and it just broke right off. Delicious.